Mitchell against KCP, step back for three. Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell again pulls up for three, not this time. Obdia with the rebound. And Mitchell makes them both to give the Jazz a one point lead. The room for air will be very small. Yeah. Donovan Mitchell, the turnaround jumper, and this is the largest lead of the game right now for Utah. Talked about his aggressiveness in the first quarter of the night. And you, you like the confidence, too, being able to take the ball, put it on the ground, and drive. But listen, Donovan Mitchell, you're going to have to be smart in that last final five, six seconds of the shot clock. And you're going to hear that from the coaching staff, and you're going to hear out on the floor. And usually, it's going to be a big, probably, uh, you know, being mm -hmm. the traffic cop in that situation because guards can't see a screen coming. And only tonight, I mean, throughout the rest of the season, when he is knocking down three-point shots, it gives this team a different dynamic. Mitchell misses over Beal in transition. Here comes Beal. Staying out of foul trouble. So far, so good for Daniel Gafford. Bogdanovich for three. And that's what you can't do. You can't leave those guys open. But you got to remember, Neto. It is an ex jazz player, so he's going to have extra incentive tonight to give it to his old team. That's what fuels Montrez right there. Those type of plays. Nice strip by Forrest. In the corner, Mitchell for three. Donovan Mitchell. And credit the second unit of the Wizards. <laughs> and someone's got to stop Donovan Mitchell because he's been the offense. He's got 17 points for Utah. For Mitchell against Bertans. Mitchell for three again, no good. Clarkson gets the rebound. About a seven second difference, shot clock to game clock. Mitchell, no, Gafford the board, Wizards have time. Eight seconds, Beal. You can see KCP trying to pick up Mitchell at half court and Donovan Mitchell misses the three and you are all set to call a timeout. Mitchell spins, knocked away by KCP. And KCP gets fouled by O'Neal. In as Conley goes to the bench. Davis Bertans comes in for Denny Avdi. 6.35 to go. Mitchell, it's blocked by Whiteside. Second block of the night for Hassan Whiteside. Donovan Mitchell off the... Wizards need a bucket here. Beal, three, doesn't go. And a five-point deficit. Bertans steals that pass. Beal challenging Whiteside off the glass. Got it. Mitchell, no. Beal trying to fight with Whiteside, and there's Harrell with the rejection. Little hesitation. Tries to lead it back for Trez, and it's a kick ball, no whistle. They scored a ball at a high rate. Mitchell against Neto. Nobody can stop Donovan Mitchell. He's got 24. Harrell gets it swatted by Whiteside. That's the fourth rejection by Hassan Whiteside. Here's Mitchell for pull up three. Short. Don't forget it. He was paid $100 million to be a center in this league. And now he gets that lob. Justin, the other night I was watching them play the Sixers, who also has a really good one-two combination with their bigs. We think about Embiid and Drummond. Oh, and now a window by Donovan Mitchell off the lob, and it's a 10-point deficit. 31 points, 31 rebounds, four blocks combined by those two guys from Utah against Philly. Now that's matching up comparable bigs on bigs. There is a premium now on guys protecting the rim. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if this is just, you know, just a couple of teams doing it, but I have noticed that when the Wizards are playing some of these teams. He's got 26. Spinning against Neto. Gafford has the board. Well, what do good teams do? They make adjustments. If their outside shot is not falling in, what's next? Taking that ball into that painted area, and they did just that in the second half, not settling. Not Those four including, then the two in New York, one against Brooklyn, one against the Knicks. If you go three and three, are you ecstatic? Absolutely. If the Wizards can come out of that. 
And those four, including then the two in New York, one against Brooklyn, one against the Knicks. If you go three and three, are you ecstatic? Absolutely. Yeah, if the Wizards can come out of that. So they showed their hand, and we know what they're capable of doing. We know the potential of this team. But I think they need to realize that, listen, there's three games out there we could talk about.